What up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. We have a very special gift tonight. If you don't mind, click that like button, click that subscribe button on the way in. It is very much appreciated. So this is a low profile license plate mounting bracket made by, hold on. Made by Mr. Mark on the E46 Fanatics form. This plate cleans up the line so much. You all see the thumbnail. Y'all saw what it looked like. Let's get into it. In the package, he's going to give you a nice four page, yep, four page instruction manual detailing all the things you need to know about how to properly, properly modify and mount your license plate. Now, I have not opened the kit yet because I wanted to do this in front of the camera. So we will be taking this journey together. It is wrapped, nice foam, nice sticker, very nice presentation. Big shout out to you, Mark. So let's, let's open this, see what we got here. Ooh, 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 the foam. Come on. You have this very nice, sturdy, okay, aluminum bracket. And a very nice, sturdy, aluminum, black anodized, which, which part is this? The mounting bracket. So this is the frame. This is what goes in front of your license plate. And this is the bracket, the part that your license plate mounts to. And we also have some very nice hardware to go with it in the little dime bag baggie. Very nice, Mark, very nice. All right, let's go over the tools that you're gonna need to install this. Okay, the tool list is fairly simple. Phillips screwdriver for removing the old license plate, a 1 8 and a 3 32nd hex bit, something to cut your license plate. Um, that could be shears, sharp screwdriver, um, freshly cut hairline, doesn't matter. What I'm gonna use here is a glass cutter. Since my plate is aluminum, thin little sheet aluminum, I can just scribe it enough to eventually break it and I should have a nice smooth line. That's the idea. And you're also gonna need something to deburr and trim the edges and just overall get that nice final shape that we're looking for for this kit. That's pretty much the overview of the kit. Let's go to the car. Well, you guys will see the car like this. I shouldn't really have to tell you how to use one of these, but just in case I do, this bit goes here and you turn anti-clockwise or left or off if you have a snap on ratchet. And your screw comes out like that. Yes, my nails are dirty. Judge me. I work on cars. And do the same the other side. Your license plate will fall. So make sure you catch it. Sorry about that. Make sure you catch it before it falls. Because gravity works here where I am. <laughs> Can y'all tell I'm having fun with this? <laughs> All right. License plate is off. Let's go back inside and cut it. Gotta be somewhat presentable. Oh God, now I have dough on my table. Now that we have our license plate off and clean, what we're gonna do is Back to the car okay we're back at the car there's two more phillips screws to remove do i have to show you how to use this again and turn 
and make sure you still catch it or not we really don't care about it because we have something better there are nuts in here you can see one just came out if you want to keep this bracket you can keep the nuts if not don't worry about it now what we want to do is take our dime bag screws and we want to test the stainless steel button head screws and make sure they fit inside your previous holes. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight. Because if they don't, then you won't be able to mount your mounting plate and you have to probably reuse your original hardware just in case somebody replaced it with like a large lag bolt or something. But if your stainless steel screws work, we're good to move to the next step. You can also buy these inserts new from BMW or from your favorite supplier minus FCP Euro. Please sponsor me. And that will also fix the problem. Okay, ah, nope, 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 hold on. We have to go in the order of the instructions. Step number four is clean the license plate mounting area. So we have to clean this first. All right, I'm gonna use this soapy water mix. It's not really soapy. It's not really water. That is interesting. Might have some body work to do. Ah, great. Ooh, this whole car is dirty. That's embarrassing. All right, the area is clean. And I note that there's some paint damage here, probably from the old license plate holder. Yep. So um, be wary of that. You might need a red marker or a black marker or a silver marker. And you know, just, just hide those little scars. It's an old car, so no, no worries. You're still cute. Now we go back inside to do some trimming. Now we have our license plate off and we followed the instructions that Mark gave us. Thank you, Big Daddy Mark. Now we have to trim our license plate. There's a very specific way to trim this. If you look at our frame, the top portion is thinner than the bottom portion. And you're gonna overlay this frame on top of the license plate, like this. Note that the thin side is on top and the thick side is at the bottom, just like in the instructions. So now we have to remove material. For me, I'm going to use these screws to hold my license plate in place so it doesn't shift on me and I have a crooked license plate. And then I get laughed at on the forums. Voila. Now I'm going to use my tool here. This is um, this is an acrylic cutter. You can find it at your local big box tool store in the acrylics plexiglass plexiglass section. But what I'm basically going to do here is scratch like a cat, and you can see. I'm getting little aluminum shards. We're just gonna repeat. Now after you've scribed deep enough, you can see some marks on the edge of the plate. What you can do is just bend it. Careful not to cut yourself. And should have a nice clean break. Should have a nice clean ish break. You see, I didn't quite get that edge enough. But I can work it. 
and do that. So if you've done everything correctly, you should have a rough draft that looks something like this. And there was one more tool that Mark included for us. And that's a life-size template of the size of the actual license plate. And if all goes well, it should match up, which ours does pretty well. Of course, we'll do some final trimming, round out these corners, um, clean everything up, and we should be good to go. So let's grab our Dremel. Let's add our frame. So you can see there's still a little bit of overhang right there. So we need to trim that down. All right, we back. We bike. So don't be don't be afraid to be fairly aggressive with your cuts. I mean, this frame is pretty thick, so any ugliness, we can just hide with a little bit of makeup. Boom. Make sure all your holes are lined up. And if all goes well, you should have no overhang. You should have no overhang. It should be perfectly smooth, which this is not, but it's good enough. And that's the target that we're aiming for. All right, let's take it outside to the car. All right, it's dark outside, so hopefully this light will help you guys see. I'm using the 332nd hex bit, and we're going to mount our bracket facing this way. Remember, like a screwdriver. Notice that these two tabs are offset. This space is actually larger than this space. So you want the small space at the top. And so now it's actually kind of crooked. So what we want to do, the tabs are I'm sorry, the screws are tight, but not tight enough so that the bracket is not adjustable. Now, the way we adjust this is if we look up here, you want there to be a very slight gap, even gap running all the way from left to right. So if you notice the bracket moved so what you're gonna to wanna to do is take this hand and screw that bolt in like this. You just wanna hold it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere while you're tightening everything up. Oh, you don't need to go Superman tight with the screws, just snug is good. Now we get to install our license plate. which is pretty simple. Thicker part of the bracket goes at the bottom. We're gonna use our 1 8 bit now. Repeat for the three remaining screws. Now, Americans, American wagon owners, we have a proper license plate. Hey everyone, that concludes the installation of our low profile license plate frame. If you like the video, click like. If you wanna see more, click subscribe, y'all already know the routine. I'll see y'all in the next video.